Welcome to Ian HRP on YouTube and let's talk the one plus five. So welcome to NHRP on YouTube and welcome to today's video. Thank you. All about the OnePlus 5. Now I got this on launch day. It was delivered um, a couple of days late actually due to a storm in France. I didn't quite understand that but anyway. Uh, I've had the phone for um, about two weeks now so um, I've had a good chance to use it and it's a really nice phone. I went for the 64 gig, um, 6 gig of RAM? Is it 6 gig? Yeah 64 gig, 6 gig of RAM. I didn't really need the extra storage and I don't really think the RAM is pretty much worth the extra 50 quid. Um, I may be wrong, but at the moment this phone is so fast it doesn't really make a difference. So, quick look at the box. Dual camera, clearer pictures is their big selling point. Um, I believe the score on the camera for the industry know-how stuff was 87, I want to say, which apparently is very high. Um, so yeah, it's got a good scoring camera. So going over some of the uh, specs of the phone, it is 7.2mm uh, thick or thin, actually it's probably a better way of describing it, 153 grams is all it weighs, um, it comes in either black or grey and I've gone for the grey version, uh, it's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor which is the uh, fastest processor you can buy for a mobile phone or you can get in a mobile phone um, and it is a 333,300 milliamp hour non-removable battery and I have to say the battery is probably one of the best batteries I've had now at the moment we are on um, 44% but that's because I've been doing quite a lot of video with this said phone so um just overall day-to-day -day performance of this thing is that it's extremely quick and snappy at um, going through apps and stuff like that and if you've got open apps it's very easy and quick to uh, go through. I've never had a slowdown on this phone at all. Um, it's very very impressive with what it does and um, the battery life it will easily last me all day whereas my um, OnePlus 3 just wouldn't. It would nowhere near last me all day. It would um, probably be gone by about 7 o'clock. I'd be getting down to 10% and having to worry about it. Now I've heard quite a few people moan about the screen saying oh it's only 1080p it's not quad HD blah 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 blah. To me it doesn't really matter. It's a really really sharp phone so if I go into uh, yeah, BT broadband problems as you do. Uh, let me just zoom in ever so slightly on there. So obviously the rolling here is because of the camera, not the rolling problems that have, uh, people have been complaining about. Um, right, let me just load up any website and try and zoom in on text. I hate mobile only sites. They do my nutting. <laughs> they really do, they really bug me. Um, we have phones now where things are load up fine on phones and it's just like, do you know what? Just let me bloody zoom into the phone. Right, see, this is another one. Back in things. Right, let me get a decent website. Right, here we go. On the BBC website, let's uh, zoom in onto there. And the text is as crystal and as clear as you could possibly want from a phone. It's perfectly fine. You don't have to have a Quad HD um, screen. It uses more battery. It just works, this one. It really does. It really does work very, very well indeed. Um, the camera is probably the main selling point. It's emblazoned on the box. And uh, it is a very nice camera. If I just plonk that on there. So uh, there we go. The Olympus camera lens for the uh, camera that I'm using at the moment. So that's the normal. It does have a two times zoom. Now it's not two times optical zoom. It is two times... Um, it's a 1.6 times optical zoom and then the rest is done digitally and I have to say I don't really notice a difference. So that is one times and that is a two times zoom and it's just as clear as anything you want. It doesn't have optical stabilisation which is a bit of a downer but again it's a £500 phone, what do you expect? Um, but what I do really like is the extremely close focusing you can get with this camera. So uh, it's not able to focus there so there we are able to focus and that lens ring is disgusting um got all the dust in there that's really bad um so yeah but that's with the two times zoom and you can get extremely close in it and then if you use the one time zoom um, it's obviously a little further away but two times you can get some very very impressive close-up photos using the app the app itself is fine it's probably one of the best camera apps i've used 
Uh, it's very, very quick. It's quick to uh, move between the different versions. So if you swipe down, you get to the portrait mode, which is where they use the dual lens camera to uh, blow out the background. And as you can see, it's not brilliant. It does sometimes sort of focus, put stuff blurry, which it doesn't need to. But it does work. It does work well, um, as you can see via this picture of uh, a flower. I take a lot of pictures of flowers. It does work well in the fact that it does do quite a good job of blowing the background. Um, and then if you swipe up, you get the video, and you can do 4K, 1080p, 60 frames per second, 1080p, or 720p. Uh, the 4K is fine. Um, I've got a video stabilizer. There'll be a video up for that shortly. Um, if I've got it here, I have a. Uh, gimbal, which when you're doing 4K you probably do need if you're moving around because it does wobble a bit. Um, but with the, the stabiliser it's fine, uh, but 1080p, perfectly acceptable, very very good quality and the sound is quite nice as well. Um, and then if you go into the menu screen you have your further options. You have portrait, which is the uh, blurry background bit, the um, sort of fake depths of field. You have pro mode and you can shoot in raw and you can do up to 30 second exposures, which I was quite impressed with. Time lapse, which is uh, is very good. I'll show you a video of that shortly. Slow motion, I haven't used a great deal of. I um, haven't really had much to shoot in slow motion, but it uh, does, I think it's 120 frames a second. And then the panorama, where you have to do it like that, and then it moves back and forth. Probably the weakest part for me on that on the camera app is the panorama, um, but I think that's just general in phones. So let's show you uh, a couple of pictures. So this picture here, of a flying bug on a um, big dandelion and um, was using the depth of field and um, as you can see when you zoom up quite close you can see the um, pixelization of it when you use the depth of field mode but it does do quite a good job of getting the thing in out of focus so there's another particularly good one the background is nice and out of focus the flower is nice and sharp um, and you can even get with two times zoom Oh, and let me put that that way. So as you can see, this is a damselfly um, on a flower around a lake around us. And as you can see, the picture is nice and sharp. It's uh, got good detail and that is zoomed in quite a lot as well. So uh, impressive with the camera. Um, and I particularly like this one here, which is uh, of some sort of flower. Um, but this is using the depth of field um, shot handheld on a fairly windy day. You managed to just catch it. The actual flower itself is uh, lovely and in focus and nice and sharp and the background is nice and blurry. So yeah, very impressed with the camera overall. And let me just show you uh, a video that I've done today. Uh, this is using the time lapse mode. We are this one here. And this is an exhibition that I was setting up for the local camera club. And this is the sort of thing you can expect if you use the time lapse function from the camera. Very easy to set up, you literally just get it going and leave it and then come back to it and it edits. You've got these nice little time lapse videos, very nice indeed. Um, and the 4K, I will show you quickly, um, although this isn't in 4K video uh, unless I upload it in that, which I probably won't. But I'll do. So this was uh, shot in 4K. As you can see, this is handheld, so it is slightly wobbly. That is a downfall of not having optical stabilization. But again, it's a 500 pound phone. Uh, lots of people are going, oh, well, it hasn't got optics. It's not waterproof. It's uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, all these things I mean you get a phone that costs you 800 pound instead of 500 or 449, as this one is. Um, so yeah, really impressed with the camera app. Does some very nice photos indeed. So going over the ports, on the bottom of the phone you have your single mono speaker, it's not stereo speaker, you have your USB-C port which is for the dash charging which means you can go from about 10% to 90% in probably about half an hour and you can literally forget to plug your phone in at night and then wake up the following morning, plug it in while you're getting ready and it will be enough for the day. It's a very impressive charging system. You have the 3.5mm microphone um, headphone jack. On the bottom you have your home button on the front screen uh, you have at the top you have your uh, front-facing camera 
which is a 16 megapixel uh, camera f2.0 uh, it's not a bad front facing camera I very rarely use front facing camera and I don't do selfies very often at all so I don't have much use for it but it's a it's a nice little camera all nonetheless and then you have your microphone at the top cool quality it's extremely good and um, this has pretty much every band you can think of for mobile phones in the world so uh, if you're going on holiday even to um, countries that don't use sort of the ones in Europe, you're pretty much guaranteed this will work. It's uh, very impressive that they've fitted all of that into one phone. Um, on this side, you have your power button um, and your on-off. If you uh, press it twice, it brings you straight into the camera nice and quick as well, which is a very useful little feature. Um, on here, you have your volume up and down, and then probably one of my favourite bits on the phone is the um, notification slider, so you can have it on... Uh, completely notify me of everything. The only uh, essential ones is in the middle one, so things like phone calls and texts will, will notify you, but emails and Twitter face and Facebook updates don't. And then you have the complete silence. Every phone should have one of these. It's so much easier just to flick it up and down. Um, yeah, I like that feature a lot. And then on the back you have the thing that they are selling most about this phone, which is the dual camera uh, or dual lens camera. So. You have a 16 megapixel uh, f1.7 rear wide angle lens, which is probably that one there. And then you have the rear telephoto lens, which is a 20 megapixel uh, f2.6. So slightly slower aperture, but the lens I'm filming on now, which is a pro grade lens for the Olympus OMD system and the Micro Four Thirds system is only f2.8. Um, so to have an f1.7 and an f2.6 camera on a phone is just it it amazes me it, my mind boggles at what's in phones now um coming from someone that's uh, had mobile phones for a long time the difference from this to a phone about five or six years ago is pretty amazing and things are only going to get better um so let's look at the uh, the screen um again and as i said people have it's the same screen as the oneplus three to me it looks uh, slightly clearer um, and that could be some software processing but it does look slightly clearer to me um, and I do like the screen on this yes it's still got the thick bezels at the top and the bottom no it's not an edge-to-edge -edge display like the S8 and things like that it's a 500 pound phone not an 800 to 900 pound phone you know you take your choice you either spend a lot or you um, don't spend as much and get just as good spec phone with a slightly smaller screen I'm not that bothered if I have to be honest with you I'd rather uh, save some money and have this phone because to me the Android system I very nearly went back to iPhone when I was looking for a new phone and then I just thought Do you know I can't justify the price and I don't want to go back into that ecosystem so uh, this runs stock pretty much Android it's fairly Android it runs uh, Oxygen is the operating system which is about as close to stock as you can get but it's got some nice useful features in there um, they're getting better updating uh, this is updated three times since I've had it with other bug fixes and stuff like that so yeah good um, as I said it's a really nice phone it's very impressive um, it runs extremely fast as you can see going through apps um, going into different stuff it doesn't slow down I've not had lag games are fine um, I never really have any other games I'm a bit of an Angry Birds freak. I play Angry Birds all the time. Um, but even Angry Birds, things like that. So this is my um, uh, the Samsung tablets that I've got uh, at the side of me. Um, struggles with Angry Birds friends um, completely. It, it just slows down and crashes half the time. Um, this, you're going to be fine for any game, even the most strongest game you can possibly download, the most processor important game. You'll be fine. It'll work on this. So there you go, quick look at the uh, OnePlus 5, it's a brilliant phone, um, if you want to buy a phone off contract uh, I would go for this, I would recommend this to anybody, um, the battery is extremely nice, the screen is extremely nice, the camera is extremely impressive, some really nice photo opportunities you can get out of this camera, the dash charging helps, it's nice and thin and it just works, so uh, yeah, highly recommended. And I'm really looking forward to what OnePlus will be doing next. The OnePlus 6, they've said that they would have liked to have a bigger screen. They've said they would like to have had waterproofing. They're only a small company. They're playing with the big boys and they're beating the big boys, if you ask me, in a lot of places. So uh, I'm very excited to see what comes next from OnePlus. So there you go. That's my look and review of the OnePlus 5. Just 
for me the best phone I've ever had I'm thoroughly enjoying it it's very very nice indeed if you've liked this video and me yabbering on and talking nonsense then click the like button down below and share the video and why not subscribe there's more videos coming up soon on Ian HRP on YouTube until next time bye for now